just received a new Vakada bullet and uh, wanted to share some uh, thoughts with you. First of all, for those who haven't heard, uh, we just released a brand new generation, Gen 2, of our bullet series. So that is the CB52 uh, and uh, 62. As for the previous generation, you do have regular varifocal models and also telephoto ones, allowing you to survey a location uh, remotely. And you can choose between 5 megapixels and 4K models. As previously, all the bullets are outdoor rated, so you'll be able to use them even in tough conditions. So what's different? First of all, we're using improved Ambarella chipsets and we have increased the memory size. So that means crisper images, more high definition storage, and improved license plate recognition. LPR was one of those uh, features that you needed uh, a bullet to do and we have uh, spent a lot of effort in improving it. So while the generation one bullets were able to capture number plates from cars traveling on a single lane with up to 25 miles an hour, the new generation is able to extend this functionality to up to three lanes and capture number plates for vehicles that travel with up to 80 miles an hour. And as everything is done on the device itself, you'll be able to see the results in command in around five seconds. Obviously, if you want to export this in real time into a third party system, we still have the APIs that allow you to do so. But if you're not using the bullets for number threat recognition and you're actually interested in doing general surveillance with it, you can now also benefit from occupancy trends. So the occupancy trends is a feature that allows you to draw one or multiple lines in the field of view of the camera, and then will give you a report in 15 minute increments of how many people walked in versus how many people walked out. And as per the RPR, you also do have the ability to programmatically download it via an API. But the changes don't stop there. So I'm just gonna unbox this to, to show you. This is the new bullet, looks similar, a bit, shorter than Gen 1. Uh, but strikingly, as you can see here, we now have a pigtail connector. So as opposed of you unscrewing the camera and plugging your cable in and making sure it's uh, uh, sealed, you can now connect your cable via this. So this gives you much more flexibility when you are installing it. Now, if for any reason you are not actually able to push this back into, let's say, a solid wall, we now also have a new junction box, the ACC mount 11. So this allows you to stick this on the wall, bring the cable either from behind the wall or from the sides. And then in within the box itself, if you open it up, you'll have a junction box adapter that will go over this particular junction box. Do remember that if you use a bullet, specifically for license plate, you also need a context camera. So you can actually have a better understanding of exactly what happened, the car itself, who was in it, etc. And the reason for that is that the LPR camera is focused solely to read a number plate itself. The shutter speed is very fast, uh, thus the image is at certain point just pitch black and the infrared sensors are turned on, so they reflect off the number plate and give us a much sharper image that we can work with. And although we aesthetically recommend to have two bullets, one for number plate recognition, one for context, you can actually use any of our other cameras for the actual contextual images. Now, if any of this is of interest to you and you want to try it in your own environment, do remember that Vercada has a free 30-day trial, so do get in touch with us and we can send you one or a couple of them for you to try.